RTO here. Welcome to Friday on RTO. Um, as it's Friday, it is live album ranking day. And today we're going to look at the live albums of Dire Straits. I know a few weeks ago we did their studio albums and it was a very, very popular video. So I thought I'd look at their um, live albums. We all know about Dire Straits formed by Mark Knopfler in 1977 and very made some great albums as we know they were active between 1977 and 88 took a couple of years off and then was back from 1990 1995 and then they packed it in uh, Mark Knopfler's made some uh, solo stuff and yes we will be doing Mark Knopfler solo albums at some stage uh, so still lots to come from the great, the great guitarist um, they've only uh, actually released three official and sort of half an official um, but I've got five for you and some honourable mentions because I picked up a couple of really good um, unofficial albums so we're going to uh, this is all my collection that I've got. So, so we've got five to look at and a few honourable mentions. So, we'll get started. So, coming in at number five is actually the second official live album, and it was released on the tenth of May, nineteen ninety-three, and it's called "On the Night." Um, "On the Night" was recorded in May of nineteen ninety-two in Nîmes, France and Rotterdam in the Netherlands and it was part of the On The Every Street Tour. Um, on here we have got Mark Knopfler on lead guitars and vocals, John Isley as ever on the bass, Alan Clark on the piano and synthesizers, Guy Fletcher synthesizers, Chris White saxophone and flute, Paul Franklin pedal steel guitar, Phil Palmer guitars, Danny Cummins on percussion, Chris Witten on drums. Um, the tracks we get on here are Calling Elvis, pretty good. Walk of Life, not a particular favourite of mine. Heavy Fuel's good. Romeo and Juliet, The Bug. Uh, Private Investigations, Your Latest Trick, On Every Street, You and Your Friend, Money for Nothing, Brothers in Arms, Solid Rock and the Local Hero Theme. Um, it's a very good album. The tracks from the On Every Street on tour songs from that album are pretty good. But my biggest gripe of this album is the versions of the classics. Private Investigations doesn't sound right how they do it on here. It hasn't got the same emotion. There's another album we'll talk about. Um... And Money for Nothing's not particularly good. I just, it just lacks something. Well, I think it may be someone called Sting. Um, it's just, I don't know, it is. I don't think they, they sound a little bit flat, the greatest, the, the classics. I don't know why. And production wise, yes, you can't fault it. Um, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay, and coming in at number 4, we have one of my um, unofficial albums. Uh, this is live at the Palais de Sport, recorded in 1981. On here we've got Mark Knopfler, Hal Lins on rhythm guitar, John Isley on the bass, Pick Withers on the drums and Alan Clark on the keyboards and piano. And this one starts off with a cracking version of Once, Once Upon a Time in the West. Expresso Love, Down on the Waterline, Lions, all great tracks. Skate Away, Romeo, Juliet, News, great version of Sultans of Swing. Portobello Bell, Angel of Mercy, Tunnel of Love, which is brilliant. Telegraph Rail Road, Where Are You Going, and Solid Rock. 
Okay, the, I'd say the production on this is a little bit in and out. It is sort of a bootleg. But it does not spoil the pleasure in this live album. Some great playing from Mark on this. Um, I mean, all these are just classic songs, aren't they? You know, the songs I really do like by the band. And for that reason, I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. Okay then, coming in at number 3. We have Live at the BBC. It was released on the 22nd of June 1995. And it was recorded at the BBC Studios in 1978 and one being done in 1981. On here we have got Mark Knopfler on vocals and guitar. David Knopfler on guitar and vocals except one track. John Isley on bass, Pick Withers on drums, Alan Clark on the keyboards and Hal Lyons just one track on the guitar. Um, we get down on the waterline, brilliant. Six blade knife is brilliant live. Great little track. Um, I love that track. Uh, it's really good live. Water of Love, Wild West End, Songs of Swing, and Lions. And um, they do a song called What's the Matter, Baby? It doesn't appear on any album. It's a nice little rocker. Um, sort of a salt and a swings baby brother sort of song really good guitar work uh it was wrote by the Nuffler brothers it's a pretty good track and then the last track is recorded in 1981 and it's tunnel of love which is a great track anyway uh you get that extract from the carousel waltz from rogers and hammerstein pretty good version of that um Good way to end this little live package. Uh, it's a great album. It's so raw. It's got some great tracks from the early days. And I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 9.4. Okay then, coming in at number two. Again, this is a... Um, Official, unofficial release that was released in the USA, which I managed to get while I was out there once. It's called On the Road to Philadelphia. It was recorded at the Tower Theatre in Philadelphia on the 6th of March 1979. And it features Mark Knopfler, David Knopfler, John Isley and Pick Withers. Again, we get down on the waterline, six blade knife, water of love in the gallery, what's the matter baby, lion, sultan of swing, wild west end, eastbound train and southbound again. I love this. The sound quality is brilliant. Uh, I don't know if it was, it was just something that was made for America. I don't know, but it's a, it's a very good professional um, production on this. Uh, I love playing this. And for that reason, I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 9.5. So, my number one. Well, I think we all know which one it is. Double album released on the February the 8th, 1984. It's Alchemy. Um, recorded at Hammersmith Odeon in 1983. Uh, got the classic lot, sort of half classic lineup. Um, we've got Mark Knopfler on guitars, Alan Clark keyboards, John Isley on bass, Hal Lins on the guitar, Terry Williams was on drums, additional musicians, the fantastic Mel Collins on saxophone, Tommy Mandel on keyboards, and Hugh de Court, or Hugh, I don't know, he's a Dutch percussionist. Um, first track on this one, of course, is Once Upon a Time in the West. 
great version of that. I think this has got the definitive versions of these songs on this album. We've got Romeo and Juliet. Brilliant version on there. A fantastic Expresso Love. And then we get the best version and the best song on this album, Private Investigations. Wow. This is brilliant. John Isley's bass on this is incredible. Mm, I mean, the version on Love Over Gold is brilliant, but this is superb. It's the best version of this. Um, and, that's, and when we go back to that on that first album, it just hadn't got the same impact as this version. I mean, on the one on the on the every street, street out live album, there's a bit of sax on it, and it didn't need sax. It just needs great guitar. Then a stonking version of Sultan's a swing. Brilliant version. Some great guitar work there from Mark on that one. Then we get Two Young Lovers. Tunnel of Love. Best version of that I've got. Um, Telegraph Roll Road. The definitive version of that great song. Solid Rock. And the album ends up with um, Going Home, the theme from Local Hero, of Local Hero, where Mel Collins plays a superb bit of sax. As I said, this is a super, superb album. It's got the definitive versions of these songs. Recently got the um, anniversary version, and uh, they've cleaned it up, and it even sounds better. Um... They've used modern day technology to make it even better. It feels like they're playing in your lounge. And I can only give this one mark. And that's 10 out of 10 because it's just a great live album. I mean, back in the day, there was a DB, the, uh, VHS video to it, which I had. Uh, it's just a great concert. Okay, I have got some honourable mentions. Little bits I've picked up here and there. And the first one is from Live Aid. Which was recorded as part of that little package they put out um, with a DVD. I had to mention this for one reason. It was recorded on the 13th of July 1985, of course. And at the time, Dire Straits were Mark Knopfler on lead guitar, Jack Sonny on rhythm, John Isley on bass, Terry Williams on drums, Alan Clark on keyboards and piano, Guy Fletcher and Sting did some singing, of course, on Money for Nothing. That is probably the best version of Money for Nothing. It was just great live. I mean, the live version without Sting, it's okay. But when you got Sting on it, it's brilliant. It's a great version. It's, it's just brilliant. And they do this great version of Sultan's A Swing. Okay, there's only two songs on it but uh, from that show, but they were brilliant. Both brilliant. One of the best parts of that day. Dire Straits. Well, it's Dire Straits for me. Quo and Queen. Okay, another little thing I've picked up. And this is called Dire Straits and Eric Clapton Solid Rock. It was recorded at Wembley Stadium again on the 11th of June 1988 uh, for the Nelson Mandela 70th birthday tribute. So on here we got Mark Knopfler, John Isley, Terry Williams, Alan Clark, Guy Fletcher and a certain Eric Clapton. Uh, the songs on this little package, we've got Walk of Life. That's not a bad version of it, to be quite honest. Sultans of Swing. Always great. You've got Mark and Eric. Um, Romeo and Juliet, really good. Money for Nothing's not too bad. Brothers in Arms, great version of that. The guitar work on it is brilliant. Then we get um, Wonderful Night tonight, Eric Clapton song pretty good and then they do solid rock um 
great little set. I thought it was one of the better sets of the day and I just thought I'd pick this up. Got it very cheaply at a record fair. Nice little package. Again, the last one, technically it's not Dire Straits, but it's from a, um, a compilation album called The Very Best of Dire Straits that came out in 1998. So on disc one you get all the Dire Straits um, classics. And then on the bonus disc, you get live stuff um, recorded at the Royal Albert Hall in 1996 by Mark Knopfler. So you get, uh, you've got Calling Elvis, um, Walk of Life, Romeo and Juliet, Last Exit to Brooklyn, Souls and Swing, Brothers in Arms, and Money for Nothing. Okay, technically it's Mark Knopfler solo, but these versions of these songs are much better than on the Albert on that uh, live album on the night much better versions uh, I don't know why I mean Brothers in Arms is great on here even Walk of Life and Calling Elvis sound much better I don't know if it's the the production they just sound really good much better okay that's all for a bit of live um, Die Straits, forgotten who it was. Um, all good albums, all the um, Die Straits live stuff I've got is brilliant. It's got lots of energy. Um, so, got one more show for the week, and that is Through the Fire, which is. A, a, a little album that Mr. Sammy Hagar made. It's part four of the Sammy Hagar story, so we'll be having a look at that. Um, there goes my phone. So I'll be back for that later. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.